for this uh, special event, though the Diwali was last month, on 17th of October. But in our culture, you can have Diwali anytime. You can basically it's a, it's a it's an event which brings people together and sharing in all aspects, cultural, food, and also your intellectual interactions. Uh, as uh, he briefly mentioned, actually we are here for uh, quite some time in, in Holland. Uh, I have been uh, teaching uh, in the medical center here, in Erasmus Medical Center. Professor and several students have done masters and PhD. Uh, obtained PhD degree from me. I am um, also uh, involved in a, in a joint project with Free University Medical Center in Amsterdam. But in terms of uh, our Indian society here, uh, which has grown very recently, in the last five years, the number of students coming from, uh, from India in, in all subjects, including medicine, biology, chemistry, physics, and also here in technology, TU Delft, the number has increased tremendously. And that indicates that we have a tremendous talent. The youngsters originating from India, absolutely talented. I'm very much also involved in bilateral relations in science and technology with Netherlands and India. In doing so, uh, just three days ago I was in Delhi, uh, the Ministry of Overseas Indians, the Chief Secretary, uh, Mr. Mohan Das, had a meeting with him and uh, uh, proposed him how our students are living there and giving them the information whether the uh, embassy as well as uh, the ministry would be of some help in providing the information, the right information at right time and they would do so. So their website would be uploaded and updated and we would also have here in, in the country, in Netherlands, much more information which would be helpful for all the newcomers as a, a master or PhD students from India. So, uh, without taking much time, what I would like to really uh, convey to all my uh, people coming from India, where I was born, I'm 50, I was born in India, in a small village, a very small village in, in Aligarh, uh, the village called Kumarpur. I, we, those days when we were studying, we had no light, no electricity. So studying using the kerosene oil lamp, which became a, a lal tent to the lamp, studied up to high school in the village, and then went to the university, AMU, Aligarh Muslim University, Aligarh, where I did entire my education. And then further I went to the Delhi University. So what I would like to say that there is um, a tremendous uh, contribution of the culture which you are sitting here in the cultural uh, center. The culture which is given through your parents as youngsters when you are growing, what they give you is values, they give you the duties, they give you the way you can lead your life ahead. And that's what you people have done it. You know, working hard in the early days and then going further for the higher studies. And it is very nice for me to see that uh, the, the students coming from India for higher education here in Masters, uh, doing PhD, and also uh, working, in fact. Lots of uh, people, those who have graduated uh, as an engineer here or have done PhD, they are even got uh, wonderful jobs here in different uh, uh, companies and also in the universities. So this tells to all of us that there is a, uh, uh, the, the talent which can be utilized and it is not only for this country, it is all over the world. There are 25 million people of Indian origin living abroad. And in, in Holland, about 200,000. That includes the number from people coming from Suriname. And I'm talking on behalf of PIO, persons of Indian origin, people, those who hail from India. And all these people are are very well accepted by the society. They work hard, they are very well assimilated in the society, they, they contribute to the society in all possible manners. With the education, with culture, and also making the bonds between the Western culture and our Hindu or Indian culture. I will not use the word Hindu because we have people from all over uh, India and different religions, but the culture joined them all over here. 
So, um, I'm very, very happy that you people have taken up uh, the word Diwali, uh, which is really signifying, it signifies that uh, the, uh, that you con the conquer on the wrong things and the bad things, the, all bad habits, all bad things are, uh, are thrown away and then, then the celebration comes. When it comes to the Indian history, uh, it is said that Lord Rama, after conquering Sri Lanka and, and bringing uh, Sita, when they returned back to home. Then people were so much uh, excited, they put so much happy, they put lights all over uh, the city, even in the night, so that it can be uh, so much light that they can, uh, they would feel that they are so much greeted in the city. So, um, I'm very happy to uh, share a few things with you here, and I wish you all the best and work hard because you are away from India, you are away from your home, away from your parents, which is already, you know, big pressure on you. Um, please, please work hard and, and, and uh, build your career. And I'm sure that you would succeed in the name of the country, in the name of India, but also contribute significantly 